you've probably heard that more than 50 ships and 20 aircraft have disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle area over the past few centuries. But do you know how many disappearances have occurred in the Alaska Triangle area since the 1970s? 20,000. 20,000 disappearances in the last 50 years. Two questions. Why do so few people know about this? And what's going on there? Let's find out. The Alaska Triangle is an area that includes Anchorage, Juneau, and Ukiagvik. It's covered with lakes, forests, and of course, snow. The place gained a grim reputation after the disappearance of a small plane in October 1972. The pilot was Don Jones, and the passengers were U.S. House Majority Leader Thomas Hale Boggs Sr., Alaska Congressman Nick Begich, and his assistant. In short, there were big shots from the country's leadership. They flew out from Anchorage to Juneau and just disappeared into thin air. No plane debris, no messages from the pilot, no information at all. The plane just vanished. The search over a vast area lasted for several thousand hours to find the traces of the four missing people and the plane. A large team of rescuers, researchers, and specialists couldn't find even a small clue. From that moment on, the popularity of the Alaska Triangle began to grow. It turned out that the mysterious disappearance of the plane was just the tip of the iceberg. Even more planes and tourists disappeared in the area. The number was huge. Dozens, hundreds, thousands, and tens of thousands. Since 1988, more than 16,000 people have disappeared here. But what's the reason for these mysterious disappearances? There are plausible and logical theories. There are some fantastic ones, and there are some very creepy ones that are better not to listen to before going to bed. Do you know what makes this place different from others where people disappear? There are too many mysterious circumstances here. For example, in the Bermuda Triangle, ships disappear because of large waves, bad weather, and magnetic storms. No one knows for sure, but all of these disappearances seem quite logical. A ship sails to a place known for its storms and bad weather. It will be terrible and sad if it disappears, but it won't be a surprise. Let's take climbers or travelers who go to conquer snowy peaks or vast canyons. Bad weather, dangerous landscapes, and wild animals make such trips quite risky. So yes, unfortunately, people also disappear in such areas. The situation in the Alaska Triangle is different. Yeah, there have been bear attacks or falls into mountain crevices here, but people have also disappeared in safe conditions. One man disappeared without a trace from a large liner sailing through the cold territory. Another one just vanished from the top of a mountain in a touristy area filled with a lot of people. What happened to them? No one knows. Among thousands of mysteries, some cases have been solved. For example, scientists have managed to solve the mystery of the disappearance of Frank Sutherden. A 25-year-old New Yorker went hunting in Alaska in the 1970s and never returned. Despite the search operations, no trace of this man was found. But then, almost 20 years later, Near one of the rivers in northeastern Alaska, someone found a skull. In 2022, scientists conducted a DNA analysis of the find and confirmed that the skull belonged to the missing New Yorker. The study showed that with a high probability, Frank had met a bear and hadn't survived this encounter. This is just one solved mystery, but how about thousands of others? Tens of thousands of miles of coastline, more than three million lakes, cold, strong winds with snowfall, a large number of bears, crevices in rocks, and many other factors can be the reason for missing people. But maybe there's something else, something that makes people go crazy, hallucinate, get lost, and panic. And these are energy vortexes. There's no scientific evidence that such a strange phenomenon really occurs in the Alaska Triangle, but the theory looks pretty true. So, this is a mass of invisible energy that moves clockwise or counterclockwise in the form of a vortex. These spirals can be energetic, magnetic, or electromagnetic. But what are they doing? 
Magnetic anomalies can disrupt the operation of the compass and other navigation instruments, and people can experience dizziness, disorientation, and even hallucination. According to the theory, people's behavior changes depending on the direction of the vortex. If it swirls up clockwise, then it has a positive effect on a person. People experience calmness, concentration, and a desire to create. Negative vortices do the opposite. They swirl counterclockwise and cause health problems. Bad mood, nightmares, depression, confusion, and malfunctions of electrical appliances. If the vortex theory turns out to be true, then there will be fewer questions about the Alaska Triangle. And while some believe that this place is associated with magnetic activity, others are sure that the Alaska Triangle attracts extraterrestrials. According to them, spaceships from other planets abduct people. Hmm, this version is too far-fetched and stereotypical, so let's not dwell on it. Among all this majestic wilderness, vast forests, lakes and rivers, there's something that stands out in the overall landscape. There is a scenic area in Alaska called Gakona, and it hides HARP, the High Frequency Active Auroral Research Program. It's a large research center that consists of hundreds of antennas that transmit radio signals to the ionosphere. The ionosphere is a layer of the planet's atmosphere where radio waves are exposed to solar radiation and other cosmic stuff. It all sounds rather complicated and incomprehensible. But when a mysterious high-tech station appears in the middle of a nature reserve where people disappear, many new theories pop up. Some believe that HARP is capable of changing the weather, disabling satellites, and controlling people's minds. But would someone conduct experiments in such a place? And what's the point of this? In short, the HARP version doesn't seem very realistic. Experienced travelers are sure that the main danger in the Alaska Triangle is Alaska itself, with all its harsh weather conditions. Others believe that secret experimental laboratories, energy anomalies, and visitors from other planets are to blame. But how about hearing the opinion of those who call this place home? Native tribes of Alaska have several sinister versions for you. Some people tell each other the legend of the mysterious Alaskan hairy man. It can imitate the voices of women and children to lure fishers and hunters into a trap. Imagine that a traveler passes through a forest and hears a woman's cry for help. I'm stuck here, someone get me out, please. Of course, the guy runs to help. He gets to the place, but instead of a woman, he sees a big, hairy creature. The traveler's scream rings through the forest. Another legend tells us about the Keelute, a scary, dangerous monster that looks like a black, bald dog. It stalks people at night and does it stealthily, unnoticeably. Legends say that the Keelute leaves no footprints in the snow. So, hunters are unaware of its pursuit. You don't hear the sound of crunching snow, but you certainly feel that there's something sinister behind you that wishes you harm. Ugh, it's scary. In the forests, mountains, and fields, you can meet the Alaskan hairy man and the Keelute. And in lakes and rivers, something scarier awaits you. Meet the Kalupalik a human-like aquatic creature with green scaly skin, long wet hair, and long nails. According to the Inuit legends, this creature wears women's clothes and a bag where they put a kid. This monster sings sweet songs to lure little girls and boys closer to the water and take them away forever. Of course, the legends about all these monsters are just fairy tales. But the danger of the Alaska Triangle is quite real not because of all the rumors about anomalies and strange occurrences, but simply because it's a vast wilderness area. Such areas are dangerous in various parts of the world, not just Alaska. And in fact, all the mysteries surrounding disappearances are simply exaggerated by scary stories and popular media. After all, if you look at the statistics of disappearances in other parts of the country, it turns out that the Alaska Triangle is not such a unique place. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.